when things don't go the way you want it to go, go back and really assess, reassess that situation, reevaluate things and see the things that you did that you could have done better to have a better result. But we fail to do that and think that maybe it's, we've, we always find someone to point the fingers to. We never want the fingers to come to us. But there's always a saying that when you point your fingers at someone, remember that you are pointing four fingers back at, three fingers back at yourself. And it's true. Because the, in truth, the one who really should carry the blame is you. Say you make, an, make a wrong investment. Maybe someone advised you to make a wrong investment. And at the end of the day, the thing don't go the way you want it. And you, you blame the friend who advised you. But he only gave you his advice. You accepted it. You made the decision to accept it. Nobody put a gun in your head to accept it. So it's all about really accepting the blame. Taking the blame. Because when you start taking the blame, it's easier for you to say, okay, I'm the one to blame for what just happened. Okay, what can I do better in this situation? What lessons can I learn from this situation? What, what should I have done differently that will prevent this from happening? You see, when you start really seeing things that way, when you start understanding things, seeing things from different perspective, it's... It makes life beautiful. It makes you feel more alive because now you know that anything that you want in your life, anything that you want to change, it's all going to start with you taking the responsibility to do so. Do not just hope and wish and pray and fast and expect that things are going to get better when you, the person, is not putting in the work to make it better. It's never going to work.